All right, let's check this out. I'm gonna play the whole thing. All right. You got nodes for every shot here. So, shot one, I leaned his body forward a bit and moved his body down for anticipation. I also moved him forward a bit when he jumped. All right, so forward and down for anticipation. Hmm, don't really see that. So you have a bit of a lean forward. I guess. It definitely feels better in terms of not just kind of exploding out of that pose. There's a bit more proper mechanics to it. There are a couple of things about this first shot. So it's a bit tricky. So a couple of things here. As you go this low, you definitely want to start um, dialing up your foot rolls. It's just painful to watch when you have uh, the shin so close to the foot. It feels like your Achilles heel is going to pop and blood is just going to come out here. So watch out for that. You definitely want to start adding uh, compression on the foot, sideways roll and tilt, just some movement otherwise it looks like this is cut off and this, these are just ik feet doing nothing the other thing is on a jump you always want a full extension on your leg uh, and this seems this seems a bit weak in terms of the force so you want to be further stretched out toes down and you can even have one more fully and then start have um, one leg to go back into this pose so they're not doing it at the same time. So right now, this just feels a bit soft in terms of posing how he jumps off. I think you could potentially, I would potentially try <clears throat> a higher pose with him, with his butt, so that he's higher up here, that you have a bit more room for this arm, but it will also create maybe, hopefully, a bit more negative space between the body, the thigh, and the arm, so that there's a nicer silhouette with this hand here. But it will also give you room to be, if your butt is this high, so it's a bit of a, that's probably too high, that seems more like a weird sitting, but just maybe split the difference between this and this high, so maybe the butt is around here. So I'm just trying to find a pose where you have room to go down and then jump, so that he's in a pose, goes down, leans forward, and then jumps out there um foot roll extensions on here this still seems a i think this hand could be a bit more relaxed the fingers could be a bit more straight on the index just a bit more relaxed pose this has a bit of a claw like pose to it but what's weird then is when you when you move everything kind of moves at the same time so you have hands arms the whole body now given that this is a bit more realistic yes i mean you want movement everywhere because the movement realistically the body's always moving um no there's always some keep alive but the thing is head goes down arm goes up body forward it all just feels a bit too post to pose starting at the same time so you want to do potentially you want to be in this pose and then his arms go up and then he leans forward or do you want this and then maybe the head is a bit lower and he looks somewhere and then the head goes up, arms go up, and then he goes forward. Or he's like this, leans forward, then the head drags, and then the arms. You know what I mean? Like you can pick whatever you want. It just kind of depends on what you want to do in terms of acting. But what also stands out and why and why I'm mentioning this is because your arm is here, your hand, and then one, two. So with two frames, you have this sudden arm shooting up here, and then it stays put, and it's almost on a straight, well, I can't even draw a straight line. <laughs> here and then the arm just kind of stays put over two frames two three frames and then it goes up and then over so it's just a bit messy in terms of spacing and arcs just that whole beginning he still feels like he's been like there has been an explosion bam and he just falls and goes ah like this seems like someone that's out of control with legs like this it just doesn't feel like a you know, a, a person that's in control phew, where you have potentially jump here and you want to, you don't want to look down here. I mean, you can always still look at where he's supposed to go. So imagine straighter legs, a cleaner jump, 
uh, head potentially still looking here where were his, his arms so maybe he jumps here and he do a roll so at this point you know his arms could still be again it could be like this arms could still be a bit higher one obviously offset and then or maybe even higher that he jumps up and brings brings up you know straighter legs body a bit higher head looking this way uh and arms potentially a bit higher so then then you can swing them back so there's a a bigger feeling of he jumps up and goes and then tucks his arms under and that's the momentum and inertia that he's using for that role like right now it just seems like he's just kind of lazily jumping it's still kind of that has that same bit of a lazy look and it's just almost over cranked how far back your arms go so i'm mean, since he's kind of jumping just kind of falling it could just be jumping out again arms potentially out and then they brings them in i'm looking for something that's just a bit more elegant and purposeful where he seems in control and he's a bit more stylized and i'm not saying like in terms of a cartoony pose but just you know it's spider-man so you want to have some more spider-man poses and this just feels like that feels very straight with a sudden 90 degree angle it's just and these arms are too far back it just there's a certain elegance that's, that's a bit missing but i'm especially reacting to this with arms so far back this and getting into this it just feels like again he's just kind of falling versus i'm jumping with purpose and i'm, I'm trying to roll like i'm doing the roll here so again, it could have a nicer line where the body is a bit bent, the head is bent here. Um, and then you can kind of potentially have the foot go through here. And then maybe, oh, that's a weird line here. Um, then the leg could be in a more bent pose. You know, you want to have a bit of a nicer line of action. And this just seems a bit messy. So I'm still not super smitten by this. And it's a fast shot. It's just... This seems a bit soft in terms of a jump. Just watching it in real time. Feels like, eh, there could be a bit more power, a bit more, phew, a bit more of a snap out of this. And this in real time going, wait, what did I see? I just see flashes of these poses in real time. So, phew, so that's what I'm seeing. Feeling, hmm, this feels slightly it's too straight, these guys, and then the bent legs. It doesn't feel like he is, like I said, in charge of that pose. It feels like he got shot. So explosion poof, right through there. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. Shot two, change the camera position and tweak his body not to look like a wooden piece moving in one direction. Cool. I think you could potentially... It's a tricky thing. Given that he's going off screen, we could potentially cheat with the pose sync up, meaning... I mean, he's already on his back, and then here he is already straight, you know, up and down. So it's already a bit of a cheat. So what's a bit tricky in this one is that there's so much movement from here to here. And it feels like he's not falling down. This might be because the camera's following it too fast. There's, it doesn't leave the camera enough, or the camera doesn't gain enough. It's just something where he feels like he's stuck in space pivoting off of here where it doesn't quite feel see this here this one i'm also reacting to so he feels like he's stuck in place doing this big rotation out of his out of his pelvis area versus uh a bit more the center a bit more of the chest area to me it feels like because he's not really kind of moving forward i mean it could be centered here but the weird thing to me is that it's it's in one place and then shoo, and then we're just losing him like how is he able to go forward so quickly right so this feels like he's stuck in place and he suddenly accelerates forward and then he does this like i don't mind this here from like here on this seems cool the only thing I would say is I would take the camera and tilt down and follow him more because now we're so close to the edge and we're leaving so much room here. And this probably, it feels if you do the silhouette test, there's a bit of a muddied silhouette which just kind of stumps coming out. So you might be, if you're already doing a swing here, you could cheat and so that the head is here, body's here, feet are here. 
with maybe one arm letting go or both arms out this way. So you see a bit more of the body for something that's a bit more like this. Imagine a pose like this, but reversed. Because once we get to here, it's just kind of a ball. The silhouette is not that clear and he kind of lost his forward momentum with the feet going up and he's just kind of going straight. So this feels a bit weird too at the end. But to go back to this here, while he's doing all of this, he needs to keep falling. It feels like if this, these are the buildings, right? And he's falling down, that he's actually not falling. He's doing the whole rotation while staying straight. And then he suddenly falls. But you have to look at the physics of he is always falling, always falling, always falling, always falling. Only by now, because he has the web, that is going to kind of stop and kind of bring his legs down. That's why the legs go down too, because that forward momentum is being stopped by the, the web. And then that pulls him, you know, that changes direction, then he can swing forward. And right now, this doesn't quite make sense why he's doing this in place and then suddenly accelerating there. So watch out for that. Uh, shot three, I changed his body a bit to avoid, to avoid twinning. So they're a bit more offset. I think you can still get away with him being a bit here, leaning this way. And then, and then he lands around here-ish. Okay, hold on, hold on. Because we're saying... I mean, it's not crucial. I'm just looking at it in terms of real space. He's going technically... Visually, he goes left to right. Now we're kind of centered, so it's not too bad. But technically, he's swinging from here to here. And I know that it might feel weird going this way and this way. I don't think it would be that confusing. And I don't think people will go, wait, it's green direction. But it feels like just in terms of contrast and more interest. And this is it's been a while since I've seen this. So if I go back on a critique that I gave before, I apologize. But seeing it now, it feels like you could get away with even starting here. I would personally start just a bit more here and then land here. So there's a bit more uh, right to left. Again, if that contradicts something I said before, I apologize. It's just something that I feel you could push, but it's not super crucial. I think for this, though, in terms of posing, legs are kind of... I mean, the height is definitely different, but the the width of it is a bit... So it's kind of the same here. Then it's a bit of a change there. I think you can push this. And again, we can go from this here, right, where the legs are out. And again, I will bring, bring one leg further out than the other one. And then as he swings in... This could be swinging forward so that the legs are a bit more closed. So then, in terms of contrast, I could see this being legs are actually together. So it's it's a nicer, cleaner, more um, elegant line. So then you go from closed legs and a bit of a, a straighter, clean line to all the way up here, where you can have whatever leg you want. Right now you're having a screen right one, screen right a bit higher and this one just a bit lower. So there's a bit of a bigger contrast of two legs down and one leg up. This feels like we're having two legs somewhat apart within two legs somewhat apart, just higher. I think that contrast could be pushed. But the way your arms let go, even though one is higher, still feels a bit twins. Even this here, we're a bit of a too, too much of a similar pose and they let go at the same time. So I would still push the timing and i wonder if through here uh you might have to recompose but i wonder if you can go on the longer lens uh, a wider lens so that there is a bit more of a visual he's small and comes closer to us there's just something about him being pretty small and then still being pretty small again that's up to you it just feels like the shot could be a bit more dynamic. And if it comes a bit closer to us, I think the distance scale difference from small to big uh, and the bigger change in posing of straight to like a, a higher leg, I think that contrast could be more interesting. This is still cool. Um, so one, two, three, four. I don't see anything here. I still feel like this arm is funky. So you're going from this line, and I would still either bring up that elbow or bring it lower, but you want a bit of an elbow break. This seems like a kind of a short arm visually. But see this? He lands and goes boom. 
And as the arm goes down, that's it. And then you go straight up in almost the same pose. If you just look at the posing of this right arm, screen right, his right and screen right. See this, it just goes and that's it. If you're landing, boom, and this is a bit of an unfortunate um, geometry. You might have to cheat and take those vertices and bring them up just for a better silhouette. That's my stomach. <laughs> but on this impact here, I would bring potentially the wrist up a bit higher so that, boom, you can bring that wrist down a bit and then bring that elbow down. Again, maybe you want to bring that elbow higher and then down so that it's not too much overlap between the leg and the arm. But what I'm trying to get to here is that when he lands, like you want elbows down, shoulders down, so that when you do with this, it doesn't feel like it's like even this shoulder up, you're kind of starting shoulder up and then boom, it's always the same versus if you're doing like this, where potentially as you go down, oh, let's go back here. Boom, you have a almost not a reversal, but that shoulder will go down. It will go down. You're up here and go boom. You want to have that weight going on, the gravity going on. You want to change in the posing of his arm as well. You want a bit more than just this down and then going up. Like this seems just really stiff and locked up. Shoulder up and arm is kind of doing the same thing. Here, I think that's okay. It's a bit fast in how it stops and then how soft the, the residual action there is. I just see a big contrast of a lot of speed suddenly stopping and then this move being pretty even. Meaning in a graph editor, if I would just generally uh, show this, it would be fast and suddenly slower, but very linear in terms of timing versus it kind of ease in well, or maybe might go up and then go down a bit with a little bit of a settle in his arms. Just a bit more complexity there, I think it would be cool. Venom. I animated all of his rotations, XYZs. I animated Spider-Man's hands and body a bit while he is staring at Venom. All right. Yeah, that's, there's, sorry, there's not enough. I see hands here. And I see a dropping in his shoulders and arms, even though they're both kind of doing it at the same time. Again, this feels like it. this is one big piece just moving down. It just it doesn't feel broken up enough. And the thing is, you have a ginormous hands coming here. This could even have a little bit of camera shake. So if he's, if he's in this pose, he will go maybe take a little step back or just kind of go back, bring one arm forward, one arm back. Kind of just change and then brace for impact. Then this goes up here. Then again, could have a subtle a bit of a subtle change. I would say a bigger change. Subtle maybe in the root, but something bigger in this area where maybe now it's a bit of a step back or, or leaning forward and maybe a readjustment in the wrist going, getting ready. Like he's ready to fight. This is a ginormous thing in front of him. So I think this could still be pushed. And then Venom, as he goes up, I think once you have done this, or going up here. This feels like, well, this hand is just kind of on here and then nothing versus, where's my hand here? Your hand would do this. And then as he goes up, it will be, it's, it's the hand is up and tightening and then pulling himself up. So you want more, uh, you want more grip here, more force. And then as he gets up, it feels a bit, a bit, Soft there. This feels like it goes up in one axis, stops, goes in this axis here. Now there's a bit more complexity there. And now a bit kind of just one axis forward in the chest while the head does one in Y's. It's a bit more complex, but it just, it still feels a bit simple. And you have to look at, is he holding on to something or is he standing, right? So, if he's holding on just to that building, you would definitely have a grip here, another arm. So maybe just to simplify it, he's just down and standing up, holding on to this still, but standing up. So you can still play in terms of 
you know, like something where he rolls up and then shoulders down a bit of a sidestep. And that's small, it doesn't have to be like as you move it away from the camera, but still a bit more complex and then shoulder and and then the head going something a bit more threatening. And right now it just feels more like he feels very tired. These guys here, I made him run and punch Venom at the end. Ah, this one still feels a bit funky, hate to say it, but A, his steps are very fast. Blip, blip, blip. In terms of, I'm not saying that he can't take small and quick steps, right? But in terms of superhero, he just feels like very quick, like it feels a bit, a bit kid-like. So you could have, and even that net shooting out feels just a bit casual. And then that's it. And then as he jumps, it's again, it's very magical. He just has, he goes down, anticipates, that's good, right? And then he pushes off. But then during all of this, there's no change in the upper body and the head. He just kind of floats forward. He's done pulling himself forward with this arm. This leg is just kind of stuck. He brings his arm back and there's something in the shoulder, but I'll probably, there's something in the chest as well, which is good but there's no really an influence on the head. The head orientation is always the same. And that punch is kind of on the side. And I don't know what that is. Is that now his fist or the chest? You know, there's something where he would be, he's, even this seems very default, where I would bring one leg forward, one leg back. So he's a bit more, he's a bit more ready like this and goes back and then you can turn him and then you can take one, two, and then a bigger down and then, like a bigger silhouette, like change in the body and in the head orientation for the punch and then forward where the whole body changes and the head and really punch the center of the screen. So in my camera, it will be into a punch into camera. It just seems all very, very relaxed here. Bloop, 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 boom. So not, not a massive fan of this. But I think again, it has potential. I would just kind of Push the poses, give this a bit more uh, hero pose at the beginning, a bigger change in terms of upper body and the head, especially when he's jumping, you know, he could be standing like this, gets ready down and then he leads. Is he leading with the head? Is he leading with the chest? Or is he, or is he exploding with his arm back? Is his arm leading for, for a, an anticipation into the punch? So you kind of look at that idea of what you want to do here. And even the the web could be, the spider web thing could be, it's getting ready and it's more like a bigger reach. And then and then a really big pullback for, um, to get a swing forward. I mean, it just feels like everything feels kind of timid. I think you can just push the posing more. Alrighty, hope this helps. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.